this and asked, do you recognize this? Yeah, that, that's the actual same room we interviewed her in uh, the night of the 14th into the 15th, and that's um, our third partner, uh, Investigator Jeff Day. Okay. Uh, and is this an accurate representation mm -hmm. of the interview that you did on, <coughs> Is it? did you say it's the 17th, 17th now? The yes. 17th of September, September 2019? Yes. Okay. Is this time of 1741-12 accurate? It would be actually 541 with 12 seconds, yes. Okay. And is it accurate? It is. Your Honor, at this time, we'd ask to move this one as the next exhibit. Is that 21, Lisa? Yes, sir. Let it be marked in files, exhibit 21. And if we could publish this to the jury, please. You may. This is the full interview. <coughs> Cold or hot in nature? <laughs> Thursday. Yes. What was he driving Thursday? Um, I don't know. 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 I don't
He was in the black SUV. So, but you have seen him come to your house before in the white car. So, go over this whole thing again with me, because you were at the park in Collins. And why did you choose that park? Because it's in Collins and it's more modern and the kids like it. It's kind of a far drive from your house though, right? I don't really care for Collins City where their park gets damaged. And I feel like they were going to get hurt. The little bicycle thing when I took out of there didn't work. A lot of the steps to go up to stuff at Fountain City was broken. It's like the swings were broken. They're not really trying to fix it. I mean, I understand people continue to vandalize it. So, I mean, that makes sense. And so, you took them out to Collins. What time did y'all get out there? I don't really know. Like, seven. Seven. And you just, how long did you stay? About an hour. And it's just you? Gavin and Destiny. Gavin and Destiny. Yeah. Okay. And then when you head back home, remember you told us said something about some boys were saying something to you out there? And you thought somebody was following you? Yeah, I felt like that. And you still think it was a, what was the car following you? It was a dark car. I think it was a dark car. Yes. So you get back home, and what takes place? I go in to fix the roast or whatever, or get it out because they've been in for way too long. Well, I didn't actually turn it off, but it was off. It was done. It was just like that. And Antoine came to the door, and he was screaming and hollering about Tally yet again. Like, I don't know what the hell he has against Tally, but he got to screaming and hollering about Tally. And we got to arguing, and you know, we kind of tussled a little bit, and I asked him to please leave. And he was like, oh, I know what you're going to do. You're a police call bitch. You're going to call the police, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. So he left. And then when I went in the kitchen, Gavin went into my room, and Destiny was laying on the couch watching Netflix. And I came back and sat down, and... All right, so Investigator Riddle, in this statement, she's now saying that Antoine had left. Is that correct? That's what I took that statement as. Okay, and that's inconsistent with what she had said previously, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and in this statement, Gavin goes into the bedroom and gets the gun while she's in the kitchen. Is that correct? Correct. So. At the edge, edge of the footstool in the living room. So the footstool, like right there by the couch where she was? Yeah. And where was Gavin? He was right there too. He just came. It happened so fast. Like if you were there, mm-hmm. you would understand. But you weren't there. So, mm-hmm. I mean, that's why you're talking to me. Obviously, it happened so fast. And then I got up and I went down to Green's house and I put it on her. And then I called my mom and and then what else took place after that? I took the gun outside. Okay. You didn't do anything other than that? Um, you I said... I tried to calm my baby down and, I mean, he was flipping out after the shit happened. He's two years old, so right. I don't understand that. I mean, most two-year-olds are still... That pop scare, so you know, I can understand him flipping out. You said Antoine always he trips on Kelly. Yeah, I mean, he's been from Gavin's dad and I were together for eight years before I met Antoine. Mm-hmm. We broke up, I met Antoine. Our, our actual daughters, Gavin's dad and our daughters, are to the support. Um, and he was very like. He was fine until I had Destiny. Then, like, after I had Destiny, he got extremely controlling, like, to the point where I still had C-section, and he punched me in my chest one day because I wanted to leave by myself and rip my C-section open. I had to literally, I had to go into the doctor's office and they sewed it back up. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I'm, just, I'm just asking you, you said, they're on the couch. You're sitting on the, I guess, the 
let's go here. Right, I was asking where she wanted to be. Okay, so where was Gaddis there? He came up, like, beside the footstool, behind the gun. So from behind it? Right. So you never, so how did he get the gun? How did he get the gun? Because you said the gun was in your room, which is over here. Right, right. I was following her whenever my mom was drunk. He is all over the house all the time. Like, for me to try to supervise him 24-7, I would have to have cameras in my house. Like, he is a very rambunctious child. He's everywhere. He plays. So you never saw him go in there and get the gun? No. Because the gun was over here. Right, right. But you're saying he's behind you when you heard the shot. Right. And did you turn around and take it from him? Yeah, of course. And then what do you do with it when you take it? I laid it down and went out the towel and hit on her and called 911. And what is he doing? Screaming and crying. Screaming. Is this me? Is she talking? Is she doing anything? No, she wouldn't do anything. And that's when it's gone at this point? Yes. Well, I noticed that Thursday he brought this home. Yeah, he did. And you said that you had a friend over there Thursday. Right, right. Did he not? He just pops up. Did he, was there not any kind of like, if he's got a problem shooting his dude, did he not have a problem on Thursday? Yeah, he did. They got into it on Thursday. Him and? Callie. So him and Callie got into it on Thursday. Yes. So what happened? Because you didn't tell me that. Yeah, they did. They got into it. He pulled up with Destiny and he pulled up and got the screaming, hollering, just crazy stuff. She's a whore. I got pictures of her stuff on my dick on my phone, all this kind of stuff. And Tyler didn't want Destiny to see that. He took Destiny in the house, got her sent at the door. He turned on Netflix one in the living room where she passed away. And he came back outside, and him and Antoine got into it. And he told her, he told Antoine, he was like, if she's a whore, she's my whore. And that really pissed Antoine off. And he tried freaking her out with me. And after that, he left. So, so him and Callie just had words. It wasn't physical. No. Did, did you and Antoine have words? Of course, yeah. Then you said he tried to run you over. Right. And Callie didn't do anything about it. No. I mean, it happened again. It happened fast. Like I, we didn't, he got in his car. We didn't think that's what he was about to do. And then I guess Saturday, he pops up and he's still upset about that. <laughs> Has he talked to him any other time before then? Like between Thursday and Saturday, no. you had talked to him. He hadn't said anything about the incident. No. That's, that's a couple of things that aren't adding up now. Right? Okay. Um, and have they even talked to Gavin since this whole and didn't see him or anything? I have a court date on Thursday. Thursday. But you have a funeral on Thursday too, don't you? Right. Thursday morning, I have to court um, date and Thursday. Well, I had a bad and I just, I mean, I don't like the idea of her just laying there and not doing what I'm supposed to do. Well, I had a couple of things about getting to clear too, because, so, you know, when we were there the other night, we measured the stool. Right. We measured him. Right. Right, because you said you saw him get the stool. Now you're saying you didn't see him get the stool. So, there's, there's. I, I can make a mistake, correct? You can make a mistake, but I would think that that wouldn't be, you know, a mistake you make right there, right? right? If you if you did if you saw him do it, that'd be something really easy to remember, right? right. I mean, he drives the thing through the house, through the house all the time. Right. Well, it's, it's not something that's uncommon. Well, we measured the stool, we measured him. No way that gun was on top of the closet. He could reach it again. It was in the bag. So if he. What bag was it? In that black bag. It was in a black bag. When I looked up there, there was no bag in that closet. Because yeah. I looked up there. When we got there, and I looked up in that closet, there were nothing behind those shoes. And I could see up higher than you. I could see behind the shoes. Right. There was no bag. Right? Right. I mean, there was a bag there. Yes, I didn't just leave the damn gun out. So you didn't, it wasn't on a nightstand? It wasn't? No. So you're sticking with it that he got up there? Cause I don't know what's happening. I'm sure he had to. If he, if he didn't get up there, then the gun was not where I put it. There's, it like that. The gun, there's no way physically possible for him to have done that. Right? I, I'm just being real with you. 
from from how we measure and he still wouldn't measure when we went over there and changed his clothes we measured to see how tall he was we measured the stool his height and with stool height he wouldn't be able to reach up there I mean I'm not making that up that is measurements we took so there's no way that gun was up there there's no way if the gun was up there he could have got up there and got it so that means the gun was either on the nightstand or you left it somewhere if you listen listen if you did like you said you can make a mistake you need to listen to me listen I want you to listen for a second you need to tell me and quit trying to when you let me talk okay I'll tell you when you keep saying you think stuff you know stuff and it's not true not helping yourself all right you lost a child nobody wants to try to put any more hurt on you but we got to get to the bottom of this thing and you got to tell us the truth and I know the truth is he could not get a gun from the top of that closet there's no way physically possible for him to have got that unless he turned into a superhero and flew up there and we know that didn't happen so the gun was not in the top of that closet like you said it was supposed to be but the day before Callie got it out So here she's saying that Callie got the gun out of the top of the closet because Anton was acting crazy. Is that correct? Just like Callie moved the bush. Okay. Is that going to be consistent with what she talks about later on in this interview? No. The day, so they pulled him. So Callie got it out on Thursday. Yes. And where did he put it when he got it out Thursday? I assumed he was supposed to put it back in the closet. That's where it was. So you're telling me he got it on Thursday, and then all day Friday and all day Saturday, you never saw the gun, but it was somewhere where Gavin could get to. Right. It has to be if you're telling me he couldn't physically reach up there. Yeah, what? Well, I'm saying that you should have saw it if it was somewhere else for him to find it, right? Right. I mean, I, I have a lot of stuff in my house, and mm-hmm. normally, I don't just, you know, I mean... I, I didn't see it. No, I did not see it. Like, I just found freaking drug test when I was looking for paperwork in the nightstand that Kelly had fucking left there because he's on probation. And I found that today. And I, I have no reason to take drug tests. So I, 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 don't, I don't know a thing I'm, about you. I'm just letting you know. So, so you don't, so if you don't, the gun wasn't in the closet. I'm just trying to make sure. I don't know. If you're telling me it's not, then it wasn't. No, well, but it was I'm not t- previous to Thursday. You told me that you that you knew he went up there and got it. And I, I'm telling you, there's no way possible him to get up there. And I'm also telling you that when I looked up there, there was no bag up there. So like you said there was. was but there was. was a black bag with inside of it. Okay, so if there was a black bag with pink inside of it, and Gavin somehow pulled that bag down and got the gun out. When I got there, when we walked in there, there was no black bag on the floor where it would have been right. if he pulled it down. So you see, the whole gun being in the closet thing is not going to fly. I, mean, I, I'm not I just want you to... Thursday, he, how he really did pull it out. He pulled it out. I mean, he... Anton was very pushy. We did not expect for him to even pull up or anything to even happen like that. So I guess he felt threatened. I don't know. So for two days... You didn't check to see where your gun was, and you didn't see your gun? No. For two whole days? No. Don't you think that's probably a little careless? If you knew he had had it out, don't you think that's a little I mean, careless? I mean, I trust him have to get back. He's... But don't, do you not think that's a little careless if you have two small children? Right? You probably should have made sure. Because if Gavin is not as big as you say he is. I, I saw him. In too many places, he could have reached and got it unless it was somewhere really low. And you probably would have saw it if it was on a nightstand nice or if it was on the table. Right. So it's leading me to believe that this whole gambling at the gun thing is... Did, did you not text the gun? We, we see it off, but okay. this whole gambling at the gun thing is not, is not fun, okay? Because we took Gavin and we took him over and we did an interview with him. And they do, those people are professionals, and they do all these different kinds of tests. So, so, so besides for him not being able to reach it, he was having problems barely holding up stuffed animals. But you want me to believe that he can? He's got a big, strong attack 
Because he warned me that he can only get them. He did. I swear to God that there was nobody else in the house. It's us. And Antoine had left. All right. Well, tell me this. So nobody else in the house. Gavin Schultz, like you're claiming, that you never saw him get to go, even though you claimed he got the gun first. You take the gun from him. Do you know what you did with it at that point? I laid it on the floor. So you put the gun right back into an area that he didn't get. No, he was, it wasn't like it was just there on the floor and he was just burning crazy at that time. He was just sitting there crying and screaming, like, watching me. And I got the green towel and brought it back to put it on Dez and called 911. So you left and left the gun on the floor. It was underneath the couch. Like, he was with me. Like, he was following right behind me. It wasn't like he just left unattended while she was there while I went and got the towel from the kitchen. It's just, it's really difficult to believe that a two-year-old can pick up and pull the trigger. And well, this is the thing. Have you ever shot a gun? So, you know, when you shoot a gun, it has a thing called recoil, right? right. And you watch movies how they shoot guns and they do, they kick like this, right? So if a two-year-old whose hand is tiny, his hand's, his hand's tiny, right. right? You want me to believe that he wrapped his little hand around that, the handle of the gun and was able to pull the trigger at the same time, right? Which is not, which isn't physically possible. Two, the recoil on that gun would have either had so much force, his little arm wouldn't have been able to hold it, and it would have probably cracked him in the face, he'd have hit himself with it or something, and he'd be hurt. And you know, when I tell you they take him, they do all these tests, and they check on their stuff, he wasn't hurt. So these are things that we can physically prove Right? We can physically prove these things that there's no way that that happened. I swear to God, I'm thinking. I wish you could test it. Like, I'm telling you, he, he can hold up stuff in us. He has no problem holding up stuff in us. He's strong as hell. So you're going to stick with that. He, he did this stuff. But I'm telling you, there's no way phys- there's no way physically possible for him to have done No way. And I'm just being straight up with you, okay? At some point, we don't have to own it. It's not physically possible for them to do that. If there was more going on and somebody else was there when it happened and you're worried about you're going to get in some trouble, you're worried about the wrong thing right now. You're going to get yourself in more trouble by continually not telling the truth. That's what's going to get you in trouble, man. Like you said, you're allowed to make mistakes. We're humans. We make mistakes. Sometimes mistakes lead to something really bad. And when it happens, you gotta own it. Because when you're up front and you're truthful with people about mistakes, guess what? They can handle that. But when you continue to lie and lie and lie and compound it, people don't want to deal with it. They don't want to have to do with it. And I'm telling you, the whole thing about what Gabby did it is not fly. It's not. Because there's no way physically possible. I believe this was an accident. I do. But you got. But this is the thing. You gotta actually tell me what happened during the accident, and you won't do that. You keep saying it was dead, and it can't be dead. It can't be. But you gotta tell me the truth. Do you want everybody to look at you as a mom that came up here and kept making up BS stories to the police? No. Or do you want them to see you as somebody that's actually remorseful and lost her daughter and they need to have some sympathy for? Her? Because that's what you need. But you're not you're not giving us the opportunity to do that. You need to tell me the truth of what happened. Quit worrying about if I, how much trouble I'm gonna be in. It's a mistake. We can fix it. We can't we can't fix this mistake. And we can go forward and we can try to do some damage control. We're here on your side. We're just trying to figure out what happened. Like I said, I don't think it's going to happen. I got the gun. He got it from me and he tried to, I don't know what the hell he was doing. I think he was trying to take the damn, whatever it is, out. And he stopped it. So, listen, listen, listen to me. Okay. I'm so mad, you know? I don't know why, because we never had no 
what type of relationship, no sex, no nothing. I've never met him. All I've never since I had to have nothing. So, okay. So I mean, you, it's, it's, but now you gotta tell me, you gotta tell me the truth. You gotta give me the whole story. Alright? You gotta tell me everything from when you pulled up. He came in and he was screaming about Callie yet again. Just hold on. What you talking about? I want you to understand. I know a whole lot more than you think. Right. Right? So I need you to be, you got to be straight up, bro. You got to tell me every single thing that happened up until we came. That's the only one I'm believe. You got to tell me things that you haven't told me yet that I already know, right? Because I don't want to start, I don't want to tell the story in for you, right? We want you to be the one to tell us what happens. So you got back to the park. Tell me what happened. I went and tried to fix the food and cut it down because I had it on high. Let's, let's, let's go back. Was Antoine already there when you got home? The neighbor said he had been there. Remember when I said I want you to, I want you to tell me stuff that you hadn't told me before? Yes, yeah. You need to tell me that. He got out of the car all right. Okay. It's good and cool. And I asked Destiny what she wanted to eat, and he kept trying to interfere. And, so, and he don't like her to eat me. So that was a problem right there. Anything that I do that he can find a problem with, it's a problem. Mm-hmm. So he don't he didn't want her to eat me first off, so he started on that shit too. And he just continued to scream and holler and raise his voice. And he went, I thought he was leaving. He went to the living room, so I was like, please leave. And he didn't leave. And I don't know why I felt frightened because I didn't know what the heck he was capable of. I mean, he beat me to the point where I was unconscious. And I waked up again when I died. He died for me. Okay, so in this version, she's the person that goes and gets the gun. Is that correct? That's what she's saying. There's a black bag on the back of the door. She's in the black bag on the back door, and you got it out. On the back of my bedroom door, yes. But you got to go in on the black bag on the back of the door. The black bag that you took and moved up into the top of the house, okay? And so you got to go. And he got it away. He got it from me. He strung his hand. Where, where are y'all at? So you go. I was in the bedroom. You in the right bedroom. Now. You in the bedroom with the gun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he went out, and he was trying to. Are y'all, are y'all fighting over the gun in the bedroom? No, I was going to fight him over the gun. gun. The hell with that. No. So you. He tried to take whatever the hell. The magazine had right. closed the books, right. right? Exactly. He was in the second living room. When you say the second living room, which one? Is it? The room. Okay. And what happens? And he dropped it in my face. After he he said he, 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 he dropped it. Then. He dropped it. Went off one time, and he dropped it, and he left. And then I see did he, her. Did he say anything? Did he shoot? Did he know she was shot? I don't know. I can't. I can't say what he knew. So what did he do with the gun after? It went off. It went off. What did he do with it? What do you mean what did he do with it? So he got the gun. He took it from you. You right. said he took the magazine out. Right. And then the gun, boom, shots fired. Right. What does Antoine do with the gun at this point? I don't know. I guess he's the one that took it outside. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. So, you think he took the gun outside? Listen, remember, when I, I told you. I know more stuff than you think I know. know. Listen to me. I I told you. Okay, okay. But what do you remember what he did with it? He was in the floor. So he just put it in the floor. He just dropped it. Just dropped it. I don't think he 100% knew what the hell he was doing. Mm -hmm. So he drops the gun. What happens now? I went over. Got to start screaming. Mm -hmm. I went over to my baby. I seen that she was shot and I got to tell him he was on there call 911. I had to find my damn phone. Remember I told you, I know more than you think I know. Right. Right? So when Antoine left, you went back outside. Right? Yes. What'd you do when you went back outside? Took the damn gun and put it inside the house. Okay. Let me tell you what, I, I see you. You, you want to tell me the truth, but you have a problem with it, okay? You were saying that. I know this stuff because there, there's a video, right? And I know he was there. 
and I know that's not where you want to put the gun up there. All right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that video, and we're going to look at it, and we're going to break it down. You're going to tell me what's happening. Can you do that for me? You posit that he shot that gun when you did it. Yes. So why did you feel like you needed to take that side? I didn't realize that she was shot until after the fact. When you say after the fact? After I took it outside. Is her statement that she didn't realize that Destiny was shot until after she took the gun outside, is that consistent with the 911 call and the recording? Well, just based on what I heard here, and this has been four and a half years, okay, Antoine leaves the house at 840, or whoever that individual is, we don't know who it is. At 846.43, an individual leaves that house. We go through, we're actually 847.47, he leaves. The defendant then exits the home at 848.23. So if what she's saying there, that the shots had been fired, so then there's a time lapse in there. It's not, her story's not adding up with this timeline. Consistent with what you know from the timeline no, of the video. Ain't very consistent. So you didn't call 911 after you took the phone outside, is what you told me? I was on the phone. It was all like a big fucking word. I don't think you understand I don't, I don't, how much I don't pressure know. he puts me under when he is around mm -hmm. and anxiety that I have and experience when I'm around him. Let me get this video, and what we're going to do, we're going to look at this video, and we're going to finish getting the truth out of this thing, okay? So, tell me this, though. If Antoine was the one who shot, why would you say it was Gabby? Why would you put your two-year-old in there? And I'm, I'm asking you this out of sheer curiosity. Do, is it, do, do you... Now, won't your kids? Do you keep one? How do I want my kids? So why would you say he did it if he didn't do it? Why would you say that? Why would you just, if he did that, why would you just tell the truth from him again? Why would you go and give us all these other That's stories? Fair. I mean, this is my kid. You're already lost one. Your, your, two. your daughter, daughter, your daughter died. How right? that? You should want some justice. You should forget being scared. You should want some justice. You should have been here that night screaming, saying, "This is what happened." I'll take you to him. Let's go to Virginia if we have to. I'll take you to him. That's what you should have been saying. You shouldn't have been blaming on your two-year-old, who there's no way physically possible he could do it. Sit, sit, sit here. Let me go get this video, and we're gonna go over this, and you're gonna, we're gonna get the whole truth out here. All right. in your hand at this point correct and can you explain to the jury what you're getting ready to do i think we're going to show her surveillance video of that uh, around the house okay is that the one that we've watched here in the courtroom a couple times i believe so This is the video footage from your neighbor next door.
see. Nope. You want to get a password. Okay. Well, I'm trying to get this set up, all right? I know you said that you went into the bedroom and got the gun. Did you ever make it back out to the other room? No, I didn't. I said, if you did, that's fine. I just need to know the stuff. No, he came right behind me. And so he walks out and unloads the gun in the living room. Why wouldn't he do it in the bedroom? Because I was screaming and hollering. Okay. I'm going to tell you something else I know, okay? So I don't know how much you know about guns, but there are different types of, like, what they call malfunctions. When you shoot a gun and the casing, right? That's the, I told you about the casing of the night, so we can find the cases. Right. The casing comes out. There's different types of malfunctions. You know what I'm saying? Oh, stove, stove pipe, where it just kind of looks like one of those, oh, you know, old black stoves with the line? Right. Yeah, it looks like that. Then you have one that's like condition two, where it kind of gets stuck in there. And a lot of times that's caused by, so you shoot that slide on the top, it comes back and goes like that. That's why it kicks out the old one, puts the new one in, right? But if the slide doesn't go all the way back, you can't kick it out and get stuck. So when you found the gun, that's what it looked like. And a lot of times when slides don't go all the way back, it's because the gun against something, like I had against it and it wouldn't be able to go, or somebody's fighting over it, all right? And so with that type of malfunction, it probably wasn't struggling one more with that gun. If it was, like I said, which that malfunction proves that it was a struggle, you need to kill me. If you had the gun and he was trying to take it from you and it went off, you need to kill me because that's definitely not your fault. That's his fault. But you need to kill me, all right? Because this is stuff. It's all small. This is stuff. That I told you, everything I'm telling you is able to prove. And we want to get the truth out there right now. We don't want this coming up later. So if y'all were fighting over the gun and it went on, you need to tell me. Okay? Is that what happened? You're actually in the living room and y'all were fighting over it. You still had it. He's trying to get it from you. And it goes off. Is is that why when you were telling us that the guy's eyes got really big? Is that why his eyes got really big? Because y'all fighting over the gun and it went on. For the record, is she, what is she doing? She's nodding her head, yes. So you wanted to tell us the truth from the beginning. You just wouldn't. Why was he? He was scared. I told you. He scares the shit out of me. You just don't know the shit that he's put me through. He got you locked in the bedroom and in his house with locks that have keys only on the inside and outside and then the fucking windows shut. Okay. Yeah. statement that when she took the gun outside she didn't realize destiny was shot is that consistent with with the timeline that's what I just heard her say is that consistent with the timeline no
Okay. You know better than this. I want you to watch this video, okay? So we don't get this figured out. We don't believe this is you right here. We believe that's him pulling up in front of your house. Your report's live. Do you normally leave your report's live off? No. He normally does things that are going to come in. So you got it. It's a motion. Right. Okay. So this is your report. It's over here. And this is in front of your house. Okay. Like I said, we don't think this is you right here. See, this is at, uh, at a time when I don't know. Really? 8.30. This is 8.30. It, it popped up as you moved there. Okay. Yeah, 8.30. What time do you think you're on? Yeah. I said it was about an hour and a half, so I was on my way home at that time. You didn't see him at the park or anywhere on that? There's actually cameras at the park. Oh, they're off? Yeah. Okay. So I don't even know where that park's at. I don't even know where that park's at. We can verify you sure. Okay. This one right beside the, the cones. Cool. Yeah. See, whoever it is, they have a lot of your porch. There's a lot of stuff going on. It looks like his lights are still on. Mm -hmm. Like they're sitting on the lights. Yeah, so it's yeah, it's yeah. It's blown off. See, can you recognize it? What color of car this is? That looks to look much like a white car. Pardon? So this car is pulling off from your house. If it ends, you may have to go to a different screen. To the other one. Yeah. This car is still on the for a bit. Let me see. It has to be a crunk a little. You have the time, so. Our other partner really went through and dissected it this morning. So it's probably, like I said, a little better idea on the times. When you come home, do you have a way you usually come? Do you usually go a certain way? With that park, I normally come. No, it just depends. So do you usually come up with that? Kingwood and then turn down in Boston? That's where you usually come. You come up Kingwood, take it down down Boston? Behind the house in the alley. Right. Why, why would you go in the alley? Because I like to park the car towards. A certain way. Yeah. Where it's going out towards the right. Okay, that's what I'm saying. That's not you, right? I don't think so. I don't think that's you. I'm going to call you a <laughs> dress you had on Saturday? Is that what you had on when I was having? Yes. So you know, ran into the trouble fighting over it. And did you discharge the no, gun? No, I didn't. So it, it went off? Yes. Okay. He's way stronger than me. Parking, you know. Can you? Um, 
来吃了。嗯，那个是人的来从这个 park 来采的。So how long was it before when you got in the house? When you came in the house? I don't exactly know. I mean, it Yeah, here. Is that is this? 
hacia un refugiamiento de la país. Y no fue muy bien shot. So I was still going back and forth at this point. Right. You think that was still right? I think I'm not 100 percent sure. Like I said, my anxiety is on a thousand. Y'all gotta understand this thing has put me through hell. I like the only reason why I got it to him is because I didn't have no issues. My mom died with my father, and I didn't know much I loved my father, and I didn't want to take her from her daddy. So he, he basically he leaves immediately after that. Right. Okay, so he's he's still in the house right now. He doesn't run away or did he think of doing anything? I don't I don't I can't say anything to make sure I was just watching. Do you immediately start getting in her aid or do you not you you don't know if she's been shot? I didn't know. Okay, here he so has he's coming out. He's actually leaving now. So he's walked down. This is my right there. So at this point, we know she's been shot at this point. And he leaves. So look at this car. Does it look like the same car that left the first time from here? Yeah. It's like to me. So, Detective Riddle, if Destiny was shot at this point, does that mean Miss Howington moves the vehicle after Destiny's been shot? Yes, ma'am. Go to 848. Uh, 848. So, we're at a right here for me. So, this one is gone. Here, you go. Yeah, it's gone now. Mm -hmm. All right. Where are you? Go ahead. Where are you going? So your lights flash on the car. Right. Just unlock your car. Now the lights come out. You're in your car. I think it's wise for it to unlock properly. Okay, so what were you doing? Uh, I think I went to the car to get back and on, to be honest with you. I did not realize that she was fucking shot. I'm telling you. Okay, you're struck the car right now. Oh, yeah, I backed it up. Yes, I sure did. You're right. I you, still that that call, you still ain't calling that moment at this point. I think I was on the phone with him. I didn't, I don't, you gotta understand, this shit happens so fast. Okay, we're just trying to, we're just trying to get it like a set time, right? But you're, you're still in the car. You should be staying in the car for an old event. And so you know she's shot at this point. Right. I can't say that 100%, no. Okay, that's what the first look we have. They were both inside. And why? Is the gun still in the floor at this point? So you, you go back outside and we know the gun's been fired already. So where is the gun at that point? I'm not exactly sure. I believe it was in the floor again. You left it in the floor. With both, with both I of the know, kids? I'm not 100% sure. No, my anxiety is on the thousand. Nobody understands this. This man has put me through hell. I'm going to continue to say that. Okay. 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 So you're going to go back and forth with your mom and dad. Okay. 
admitting that she pulled a gun on Antoine on Thursday night. Is that correct? I think a few minutes prior to that, we, she was asked if she had ever pulled out a gun on him before, and she denied it. Now, with this, I did some background work and learned that there was an, an incident two days prior, and that's why I'm following up with her there, and she does admit at that particular time that she has pulled a gun on him two days prior. <coughs> So here it sounds like she's admitting that she texted Callie to come get the gun. Is that correct? Not only did she text uh, Callie, but she texted Joe Key as well. Okay. And so when she says no, she didn't text anybody else, is that true or is that not true? Yeah, I, I guess asked that way, it's probably not true. Okay. 
You can't find it. It's not even green this time, I think. I don't know how to work it. One of the two. Talk to Anton at this point. I believe we talked to him on September the 16th, I believe, okay. at the Knoxville Police Department. I don't know the address, but I know where his house is. If he would leave, I'm sorry to go. He has another house. Destiny told me either in North Carolina or Virginia. Okay. But she always said that North Carolina was about to go like he told her North Carolina because um, when we would go to Bristol to see my mom, she always say that. They stopped off the interstate at the flea market mm -hmm. um, by 407. But um, I, she did speak on one time that they stopped in Bristol at the Pinnacle in 8. So I don't know. I, don't, I think he was telling her that it was North Carolina, but it was really Virginia. Okay. What part of Virginia? I don't know. So you don't know, do you know what part of Virginia he's from? Farmville. He's from Farmville. Is that any other family in Virginia? No, I don't know. I've only been up there like Yeah. I mean, I've never been inside of it. Not right. No, I don't know. I don't know. Ten windows. 
Was it cadet in the unit? No. We won't show you a card in here, at least in your work in here. But we're not going to get into the story about him because we think he's obviously been... We kind of do. Randomly, we've done it sometimes. We know that you ought to not go with him. Do we think it's a bad situation? Yeah. But I think it helps you to be honest. Yeah. And obviously, now you've come clean. I'm not going to tell you. Well, then, it's not going to bring you back. But you don't want you to get back to work. That's what you're saying. And like I said... I've been trying to really have somebody... I mean, you said you're trying to have somebody... I've been trying to really have somebody... And like I said, she can be at peace now, but she knows. She knows that now that we know the truth of what happened, she can be at peace when they make her arrest. I appreciate what you're saying. Because it's hard. Like I swear to God, I thought... We're not going to put your business out there or anything you want to take your hands and put your hands. I wouldn't talk about this. I wouldn't talk about it. Right, right. You might want to. You can if you want to talk to your mom. I would probably tell her. I would probably tell her. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not going to be able to talk to her mom. Because she's not
show you this picture. You tell me it's crooked, okay? Yes, that's me. Yeah, it's far. Was that the one that was in front of your house? Yes. Okay. Do me a favor. Just sign your name right there and put this car was driven by, what's his name, Antoine Oliver. While you're signing that, that fingernail, did that break off during the domestic? I don't think so. I don't know if that one's him. Yeah, I noticed it the other night. We might want to get a picture of that. I'll get it on my phone, though. Okay. So he was, that's the car that he was in the night that he came into your house on the 14th of September. Right. And that's not the first time you saw him in that car? No. This is the second time I've saw him in that car. Like I said, every time he comes, he has a different car. A couple things to do, I'm going to follow up questions on it with you. You know, you kept emphasizing the fact. You can listen to him. Put the date on there, too. I'm sorry. When you're talking. Today's the 17th of September. 17-19. You just put the time on there. It's 9-17-19. And put 7-19. When you get a chance to test the gun with Gavin, compare it to Gavin's DNA or Prince. I was just scared, man. But you knew that we were going to find anything on that. You didn't take his hand and place it on that gun. Did he have the gun in his hand when you left him before you went out? Not that I know of, no. So when you came in. Yes, that's the photo I showed her of the Chrysler 300. Okay, and did she write on the black Sharpie on there? Is that what she wrote? Yeah. We could make this the next exhibit. Mark and violence number 23. And Detective Burrell, can you explain to the jury, is this still shot of this car, is this from the video that we've been watching so far? I believe that was from maybe an adjacent video on Mid Lake, which runs behind her home. We had video of the car driving real slowly in that area actually pulling on one of the back streets and we, we we think two and two together that whoever's in that car is the ones that pull in front of our home but obviously you're not 100 i'm not 100 sure. percent. that's because it's a video from behind her house correct not in front of her house. is that correct correct <laughs> is it or is it true or not true that you did lock the gun down after before you threw it in the bush. No, I didn't. But you told us the other day you did. I no. just want to make sure we're on the same page. No, you never lock it down. No. So whose DNA is going to be on that gun? Ann's going to say yours, okay. So we are going to get some DNA from Ann's going. Okay. And maybe Calvin's all in there. Cali wasn't there. Right, was he? right. No, he we're not worried there. about Cali. We're lost. I've got issues with Kelly for him not being honest on certain things. <coughs> He's not involved in this. Uh, anything else you remember? Mm-hmm. Do you have any, you don't have any bruises or marks on you pertaining to the, mm-hmm. other than a broken nail? Right. And you you had nails. Were all your nails intact at the time? No, yeah, I mean, that's me. I just went and got our nails done. Okay. Previous thing.
Explain to the jury why you want to identify who this Tabitha Disney is. I think it was a lady that she was wanting to take Gavin to, so we wanted to kind of follow up at some point with her. Is that them? Yes. Okay. Well, I've got you in your own picture. I mean, just stick your hands out there. And you're thinking that that was from your you struggle with it, right? You just got your nails done. What day did you get your nails done? On Friday. Mm -hmm. So they were good and fresh on Friday, and then Saturday you got one broke off. Okay. Your direct um, approach the bench. Courtroom. Whenever the defense attorney talked about um, talked about Gavin being the person that shot uh, Destiny. Yes, I believe in his opening statement. And the last story that the defendant gave to you in this case is that the story that you heard in opening statement. No, ma'am. That's all, Castle All right. Ladies and gentlemen, it is 6 o'clock. Uh, you have had a long day. I think the prudent thing to do at this point in time is to call it a day and let Mr. Whalen uh, begin his cross-examination uh, tomorrow morning when we resume.